Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you that actually everyone can create a 3D forest scene at home just by using the Icron 8 3D animation software in 5 minutes. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. And of course, first you need to get the Icron 8 software. If you don't have the Icron 8 software, you can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions and get the Icron 8 software from the official site of the Realusions. You can get a trial and just have a play. It doesn't matter, it is just a small deal. Alright, first you just need to open the Icron 8 software. First, by default, the window workplace is standard. Then, the first step before you create the trees, before you create the forest, you need to go to the set and go to add a terrain from here. And as demo, I'm going to just apply a hill. Now you can see a terrain already applied here. The next step is to apply a sky. Although you want to make a forest, the sky is quite important. So just go to the sky to choose a, to choose a sky. To apply the sky, you just need to double click whatever sky that you already chosen. Just double click, it will apply to the scene. Now you already have the sky, you already have the terrain. Then next step is to add some water. Just go to the water. Then you can just apply any of the water here. Now you already have the water. Then of course you can apply the water height. For example, you put it 100 is okay, it is higher. You can put it minus 300. Then by default it is 50, it's okay. The final step is just create some trees. The trees you want to create, you can just go to here. Choose some of the trees that are suitable for the scene that you want. Let's say if you want to create a map mapper for scene, you can just use this tree. It is this is the Japanese mapper for. It is up to you. Just drag and drop for, for your first tree. Then click start gardening. From the start gardening, you can increase the size. Then increase the number of trees. Like this. Then, you need to press Q. If you press X, then press X. X, you can move your camera. If you press C, you can rotate the camera. If you press the Q again, it is going to plant the tree again. Of course, I can just plant. Then press X, then scroll the camera to fill the whole scene with this type of the tree. Let's say if you want to have this it is up to you, drag and drop, then start gardening, then decrease the size, increase the number of the trees, then you can just click, click at the terrain, it is going to plant the trees, just that simple. Now I press C, and scroll to have a view on the forest. You can see now it really can become a forest for people's. Then click start gardening again. Number of trees, you can decrease it. And just plant some trees like this. Right now, besides that, you can fill in the whole scene by using all of the trees. You also can plant some grasses, for example, the rough grasses. Just double click, it is going to apply. Then click start gardening. Increase the number of grasses.
and you can choose more grasses here just drag and drop let's say the bush then also click start gardening increase the size and increase the density then you can plant more right now press X and have a look the grasses are already planted so you already created a, a forest scene like this now of course it is not enough trees you can plant more and more just by using the gardening tools then later the whole scene will become a forest and now you have the water then when you render when you try to play in this scene you already have the water you already have the reflections of the water you already have the trees etc this is a forest scene if you put your camera very near to here it really look like the forest Right, that's all for today about my tutorial on how to create a 3D forest scene just at home, just within 5 minutes by using the Icon 8. Everyone can do this and render as a picture or render it as a video. It is up to you. The Icon 8 is a 3D animation software. You can drag in any of the 3D avatars from here. Then you can render your own movies by using all these, these tools. You can put in any of the avatar. Right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorials and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. Enjoy and have fun. See you. See you in my next video.